hey 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 get away alex here in this video i'll show you i'll give you the room tour and we're gonna go through the whole process of repairing of my apartment in kiev ukraine now this video was recorded in 2021 and it was waiting almost what more than three years to be finally uploaded to youtube so i'm not gonna change anything i'm just gonna leave it as it is just gonna put some little editing because it was partially in ukrainian partially in english it's the whole process of me buying the apartment stepping into it and then already having the final result and the funny story that i even cannot enjoy it right now because of war i'm staying right now in beautiful buenos aires and i cannot go home uh, technically i'm on vacation uh, however i'm not sure how long i'm gonna stay here if you want to know more about my story there is a video about that on this channel i'm gonna attach it somewhere here however if you're here just to see the transformation uh, because i would call it diy diy transformation of the apartment stay tuned because it's just gonna happen uh, right now right now right here and big part of the work i actually have done myself because it was done during the lockdown remember those days where we couldn't go out and stuff yeah so basically my flat my apartment helped me to keep uh, you know the mental stability and uh, do something because a lot of things i have done by myself what i could do i have done by myself obviously not some electrical stuff not plumbing but some stuff uh, you will see it in this video and uh, just check it out it happened uh, i was thinking about this uh, long ago and now i decided to share how my apartment uh, looks like this also might give you an idea how the construction market in ukraine looks like what are the developers or the vendors are offering on this market how the apartments and the residential complexes looks like also maybe native english speakers can help me out with this because i was looking for the correct way of um, explaining what i was doing here because technically it's not renovation or not the repair of the apartment because this uh, repair has been done for the first time this is a new building and basically i'm creating the design i'm putting together everything so i don't think you know you can use the word re which means like you like redo something or recycle this is done for the first time let me know what i'm dealing here it's uh, basically gray or the white box or the empty walls and uh, let's check it out hello boys and girls uh... well the next footage probably gonna explain why did i purchase uh, my apartment in this residential complex because it's vibrant colorful bright it's a very nice environment or the surrounding where you would like to be where you want to be it's uh, there's a lot of families young people live here um, i don't want to say it was impulsive purchase but at that time i have done my research and i had the money for the down payment and i just made this purchase here you can see the floor plan i didn't uh, change uh, a lot um, basically i stick to the floor plan the original floor plan remembering that before the cruise ships i used to be the interior designer and i decided i'm going to stick to the plan so it's going to be easier for me to communicate and cooperate with the contractors that are going to be helping me with some sort of jobs here so that's how my apartment or condo look like uh, from the very beginning that's how i receive it as you see it was empty just empty box nothing special the boiler was included and here you can still can see the original doors which i change in the next footage basically i'm gonna record this for good memories of mine and uh i'm not sure if i'm gonna post it but anyway if i'm posting this somewhere it just uh basically to show the progress of uh, refurbishment of my very first mm, my own apartment so um that's the entrance that's the only thing i changed by now this the the, the door and in front uh, you can see the well you cannot see but it's going to be a uh, bathroom one day and then living room Flash kitchen, which is right here, 
and uh, basically that's it. It's only 30 square meters, and then there's like a balcony right here, and uh, an amazing view. Basically, you can see the center of the capital. I'm gonna show less, less of me, more of everything. So as you see, even though the flat is pretty small, but there's a lot of things needs to be done here. So here, that's the place where I'm going to be putting my bed, my king size bed. Then next to it, there's going to be a little uh, wardrobe. Here, there's going to be a kitchen. Now there's like a little bit of a storage and a little bit of a garbage. So we have right now the window right there and uh, uh, everything begins with the toilet and everything starts with the door so I have to remove this wall stay tuned yeah we halfway there living on a prayer so as you see there is no wall anymore uh, in about uh, an hour and uh, yeah if you need uh, a constructor or builder let me know correct and this is already the next stage as you see i removed already this wall and that it used to be it was just like that 60 60 centimeters it was dividing my entrance from the kitchen so i'm going to show you what we already have we have a, a toilet we got toilet bowl installed that's my shower also gonna be here then we're gonna enter the kitchen area so we have a sink and we have a, my visualization yeah. so as you see i'm showing the first steps so my first results uh, luckily during the lockdown there was a lot of uh, free time combined with my engineering skills and of course motivation to live in my own house by myself the view is the same and here is my small storage right now And after I got the water and the, the toilet bowl and so on and so forth, uh, there was a stage uh, when I have to invite uh, Mr. Electrician so he can do some magic. So as you see, this is the stage where I already have my electrical panel. I believe that's how you call it, plenty cables, um, so many outlets for the future sockets, switch, switches, um, yeah, as you see, there's a lot of uh, cables, wires here and there, this is I'm showing the bathroom together with the toilet and uh, different purposes of different outlets in uh, this particular area. This one, for example, for boiler. That's my wardrobe gonna be here. Here's the kitchen. And, and there's gonna be a lot of uh, appliances here. So that's why I need a lot of outlets for the future sockets. This uh, outlets, for example, gonna be above the um, kitchen countertop. I believe that's how you call it. That's why, you know, I need a lot of them there. There's another one gonna be for stove. Also, I've planned another one for the microwave, the separate one going to be for the washing machine slash dryer. How do you call it? The hood, the, the, the extract. There should be enough. I would say I've done a little bit more than enough just in case. All right, from the kitchen, we're going to move on to the living room or well, this is the studio apartment. So there's no uh, a separation here anyway. So these outlets are for the TV, even though I didn't plan to have one, but you know, I've done one just in case here for maybe a table or for the computers and all that jazz here. There's going to be one for the vacuum, this uh, two on each and every side of my bed for cell phone charging and stuff. This is the ceiling light. 
I obviously need a bulb, the light bulb in each and every area of the studio and also some uh, sockets should be at the balcony and this next spot I forgot to mention that's gonna be the the hidden router and all the internet connection it's gonna be basically inside of the the kitchen so there was um, another stage all right um, time to move on so we need to cover this one uh, with kind of cement I'm not very uh, sure how to call it in English anyway um, but as you see um, the walls are absolutely empty so there's a lot of things to do on oh, yeah and also this is the aircon so according to Google the thing that I need to do for the walls it's applying of plastering I believe that's how they call it and it's time to move on to the next stage here you can see that I receive already some supplies for this plastering brought it up in inside of the apartment and some uh, results already visible on some walls yeah I needed to apply that uh, plaster for the walls because my plan was to put the wallpapers on the walls and partially there's also gonna be the tiles so this is uh, how this stage of my repair looks like by the way on this channel you can find also a couple of room tours or reviews of the Airbnbs uh, from my travelings Airbnbs that I'm staying and also the room tour of my crew cabin because I'm working on the cruise ships so uh, you can find them here I also gonna leave the link in the description down below so you can check it out later on meanwhile let's go and see the next stage or the progress of the renovation of the future castle of mine and if you're asking if I did this stage by myself, no, there was a constructor helping me or better to say there was a contractor who was doing everything and I was helping him bringing everything that needed, supplies and stuff. And also that plaster was applied only not uh, on the walls but also on the ceiling. So now everything looks a little bit uh, better. And this is the example of different tiles that I spent so much time choosing from one supermarket like uh, in Ukraine we have the metro or like basically like something like a Home Depot for Americans yeah so I got different tiles for different parts of my studio and of course you're gonna be witnessing how uh, the final result are gonna look like uh, but uh, wait for the end of the video as you see there are some tiles are here at a balcony I think it turned out to be very nice also some tiles are applied here at the kitchen and here in the bathroom as you see this platform uh, or maybe correct uh, to call it basin everything has been done well almost everything has been done here in the bathroom by the way the tiles are turned out to be nice there's two different types here on the walls and the one that goes on the floor and actually the same one that uh, you already have seen at the balcony and uh, the kitchen the next stage I'm gonna show you how the windows and also the doors looks like so around the windows I believe those parts they call jams we put the tiles I wanted to have this nice black tiles around the windows they're gonna be also here on the balcony they are in inside of um, those portals or those windows and they are actually not uh, black they are dark, dark gray I decided it's gonna be nice to have them in my apartment 
by the way a couple of words about my overall experience of this uh, repair or renovation of the apartment would i do that again i would say i don't want to say never ever in my life but uh, i don't want to act actively participate in such a project <laughs> let's put it this way it's better leave it for the professionals Again, I was doing it only because I had a lot of free time that was done during the lockdown. So I was involved in many processes, uh, supplying, helping different contractors. I was doing some stages where I could do, I was doing. And uh, as I mentioned before, it actually was keeping me busy. So I wouldn't go crazy during the lockdown period. I hope you remember what we all went through. And the door jabs I also decided to uh, decorate with those tiles. In this video I'm sharing very individual, very personal experience for me, very unique experience as well of me creating uh, my own nest or the castle as I <laughs> said before. So, as you probably understand, I've missed this place very much. It's in Kyiv, Ukraine, and I haven't been there for around three years. I left before invasion of Ukraine started, and I never got back there yet. Uh, but all the Ukrainians, we have this habit of uh, supporting our army. Uh, we donate for charity. So if you feel like donating a dollar or so, you're gonna find the link down below. There is my PayPal and I thank you in advance. Once again, it's not necessary, but if you feel like if you're enjoying this content and you wanna support Alex and in his willingness or possibility for him to get back home, please do donate. I will redirect the money for a charity and uh, they're gonna go to those purposes or those people who really, or maybe even animals who there in Ukraine who really need them. Thank you in advance. We continue. A little bit of a view from the window. This is the drying rack on the balcony that I found on Instagram. By the way, maybe you noticed that the color of the balcony changed into this gray shade that's the way how the rack assemble all right and now i have more progress here in the bathroom as you see this is everything is ready for the curtain because i don't want to put um, any glass curtain is more practical all necessary stuff that you need in your toilet uh, this is going to be also uh, the dryer here well the towel dryer if that's what you call the the water heater or the boiler as well this is the shower here and that's the entrance to the apartment again the tiles are the same well the the tiles on the floor are the same you see they are continuation of the same tiles that you have here and the bathroom and that's already the curtain which again can be super practical you just wash it and you know it's amazing i got that idea from many of the hotels american hotels that i used to visit especially when you're joining the ship um, because again i don't want to clean the glass in the the shower all the time all right there was another stage for my renovation and it's about those um, plastic or correctly to say vinyl windows so they were white color I didn't like it I wanted to have a dark gray so I got a couple of um, different uh, paints which I needed to mix and then uh, make a couple of coating there were, or the, the layer so there was like the first coating and then you need to apply one or two layers well to be honest I wasn't happy with the color and the way how the uh, paint behave so i have done uh five layers <laughs> yeah i spent a lot of time uh, playing around with those windows but at the end i like the result it looks 
much better. It looks much better than it uh, was. By the way, I haven't started from the first day of the lockdown when everything was super uncertain and everything was kind of crazy. No, it's uh, only after a few months of staying home, you know, when everything got a little bit weird and crazy. Then I start borrowing the car from my dad because uh, I was living with them, with my parents, um, outside of the, the city in my small town. It's like 70 kilometers from the capital of Ukraine or whatever, like 50 miles. And I would have go there like very early before the traffic jams. And then I would spend there the whole day and then I would have uh, go back uh, maybe after 11 p.m. or even 12 staying in the car again without contacting any other people and also I decided I'm gonna paint this plastic cover of the door here you can see the laminated flooring I was uh, I was waiting for that flooring uh, more than one month I believe almost two months because um, it was uh, ordered in Belgium by the way to be honest, I wasn't super happy with the way how, with the quality of it, let's put it this way. But the, at least the color is nice. And also the windows are satisfying. Here is the project of my future bed. As you see, it was important for me to understand how much room or how much space it's gonna occupy so I could have enough room on each and every side of the bed. So that's the location. And then also on there on the right, there should be a room for me to go to the wardrobe. So everything should be nice and precise. That's where it's going to be. And then after figuring out the floor and the location of a future furniture, there was a time to do something with the walls. So I decided not to use the paint, but to use the wallpaper, which actually could be painted if needed. And it has this nice uh, pattern or the structure. And it's not white, it's a little bit uh, whitish, grayish, as you see. And then I also have that wall that looks dark gray I think it turned out well and obviously I didn't put the wallpapers behind the future wardrobe that's where I'm gonna be having some storage room also I didn't put the wallpaper behind the the kitchen here is gonna be the future kitchen by the way I'm very happy with it because it was designed uh, specifically for me it was individually made um, on the factory of my friends so I kind of recommend you them if you want some Ukrainian quality let me know yeah and it was done by my planning everything turned out well and after so much cleaning and setting up the furniture it's time for the review or the room tour well as you see I'm gonna be using here the lens which gives uh, the the wide angle but it gives also this blurry effect Anyway, it's going to be enough to understand what's going on. If you're talking about the numbers, so I spent $30,000 to purchase this apartment. Well, there was down payment, around 30% of that sum, and then I was paying off throughout the years, all the rest. And the, the refurbishment was $17,000, so we, we end up with around $47,000. This is the entrance. This is Shevchenko's uh, photo. He is one of our most famous writers and poets, and I uh, like to have him by the entrance there I'm showing that uh, inside of my wardrobe um, it was supposed to be a router the internet router but uh, I noticed that the mirror actually blocking the signal of it so I put it outside and I'm putting it inside of the other storage let's put it this way here I have heated uh, tiles or heated floor for the winter and then once we entering the bathroom, as you see, it's not very big, uh, so there was a good reason uh, not to put any um, glass here or stuff. Uh, this is the boiler. On the right, there is a towel uh, dryer. A little bit of a storage under the boiler. Uh, this is the basin, or how do you call it, the platform of the actual uh, shower. And the water goes there. 
Then I have some uh, storage here and there, nothing special, as you see, trying to keep it everything minimal. And I think it was a good decision also to put here in the shower a curtain, because you can wash it easily. Um, now, the shower itself, it's Hans Grohe. I believe it's either German or Austrian brand. I'm very happy with it. And again, I'm happy that I didn't put the glass, otherwise uh, I needed to clean it all the time. Like here, you see those water, whatever, remaining. So, I'm happy with it. Also happy with the tiles. Uh, there's two kinds of it. And I really like uh, how everything turned out and the shape of um, this um, basing or the platform. I don't know how do you guys call it. And talking about curtain, yeah, you just easily can wash it. I don't know, after a couple of months and it's going to be like a new. So by the entrance, you also can see that puff that transformed to five chairs that you're going to see in the living room. Now we're entering the, the kitchen. Well, right away. <laughs> by the entrance, there's a kitchen with uh, so much storage, to be honest. It was more than enough for one single man. That's how it looks like. Again, super minimal, minimalistic. Uh, this is part of uh, the same furniture. It has been done by uh, one company, well, two actually companies run by my friends. Basically, I give them the, the planning and they give me already the product. Now, this is the washer slash dryer. I'm very happy with it. I never been a fan of doing the washing, but if you have your washer dryer in your apartment, I'm like, I was doing it, uh, my laundry every other day. There was more than enough room for me also in the fridge. It's not the big one, but more than enough. Um, all the rest. The storage. Uh, here, interesting. Uh, there's uh, water, the drinking water. So it separates the drinking water because I have a filter. So it's very useful uh, feature for the kitchen sink. This is the dispenser. And we're going to check out what we have underneath. It's interesting. It's waste chopper, I believe. Such a such a great thing, and also the filter and all the rest. And here I'm also trying to recycle. Well, nothing special. Some utensils. There, I have more storage. Just to give you a glimpse and stuff. Uh, microwave I'm using a lot cooking a lot because you know everything is new so I wanted to use it now Buddha that I painted uh, while I was uh, on vacation during the lockdown now it also has the picture right there above the bed I like also the colors how everything end up to be you know very calm and uh, yeah, this is the part of that uh, puff that we have seen by the entrance that transform into five uh, different chairs. Here is a little bit more of a wardrobe storage. Again, I'm trying to keep everything organized. Here you go. My bed. This is my kayak on a balcony, which I could have uh, put in the storage under the bed, but uh, you know, I end up having it there. Oh, I'm missing kayaking so much. And the river Dnieper, it's in uh, about 10 minutes walk from my house. And uh, this is the rack that I already showed you before. As you see, I painted it black. I'm using it actually on a sunny days, why not? However, I have a dryer which is again game changer when you have a washer and dryer but just in case if you want a real freshness then on a sunny day you can use the rag a little bit of a view of the winter in Kyiv, Ukraine that's the view from uh, my window I'm living on the left bank and the view is to the right bank Again, tiles end up uh, looking good as I think the portals as well or the windows as you see the frames that I painted oh, this is my Christmas lights I 
and uh, yeah there's um, also the chair by the way I, I end up buying a chair here you could have also put here the table for you to work like that table for example also from time to time I was moving here a sofa to trying if the sofa may be gonna work here anyway it is possible well usually I'm using this area just to work out or you know sit in front of the window and drinking the tea on a cold winter nights Popeye picture by the way <laughs> yeah I uh, again I had a lot of time during the lockdown so I end up having Popeye picture mm, I repainted this sound system as well it's old made in USSR but it's still working and um, as you see I I painted black so it's end up uh, well fitting into this uh, interior as I think and that's how my home looks like it was enough of me and your life for today uh, feel free to leave your uh, suggestions uh, comments uh, down below thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoy it stay tuned for uh, more videos on uh, this channel and I hope I'll see you in the next one.